Golf is an organized sport with players competing against each other for a chance to win a coveted prize. Despite being the gentleman's game, it'll interest you to know that golfers' earnings run into millions of dollars. And with such a humongous paycheck comes expensive purchases. From Tiger's multi-million dollar purchase that set the golf world into a frenzy, to Ian the Postman Poulter's undying quest for the classiest whips, these are multi-million dollar purchases of famous golf stars. For starters, the Postman purchased a Florida mansion in 2009 for $900,000. The home, which is situated in the private golfing residence of Lake Nona Golf and Country Club, is equipped with a luxury gym, a spacious living room, an ultra-modern kitchen, and plenty of space outside of the home to practice his golf swing. The mansion also has a garage for his quest to live on the fast lane. Ian Poulter, who has previously been ranked as high as number 5 in the OWGR, has an itch that keeps him acquiring some of the finest cars in the world. Poulter is an eminent Ferrari collector, and he's amongst a rare group of car collectors that have managed to own each of the five supercars ever manufactured by Ferrari. Poulter owns a 1985 Ferrari 288 GTO, Ferrari F40, 2002 Enzo Ferrari, Ferrari F50, and two Le Ferraris. When he allowed YouTuber Shmi to have a peek around his garage, the postman spoke of how he owned his sparkling set of wheels. I was always a car man, and I told myself, I'll buy a Ferrari when I win my first tournament. He continued, I won the Italian Open, but the check just wasn't big enough. I won another tournament, and it still wasn't big enough. So when I won the Italian Open again, which was my third tournament, I knew the time was right, so I bought myself a 360, and from that moment on, that love affair has grown. But despite having an award-winning Ferrari supercar collection, Poulter owns a Mercedes-AMG GTS, a Ford GT, a Porsche 911 GT2, and a Mercedes G63. His total car collection is worth over $25 million and builds value year after year. But Poulter is not the only golfer on the list of elite car owners. Phil Mickelson, the man who never shies away from controversy, is one multi-millionaire golfer who doesn't joke with his cravings for supercars. The legendary golfer has aced it in virtually every sector. From winning titles to snagging millions of dollars in prize money and endorsement deals. And surprisingly, along with this comes a massive and luxurious car collection. With a net worth of around $400 million and sponsorship deals with KPMG, Rolls, VistaJet, Mizzen Plus Main, Exxon Mobil, Callaway, and a host of other brands, Mickelson can comfortably afford the luxury of living in a $6 million mansion which he initially listed on the market for as much as $12 million. However, when no one showed interest in the property, the listing price was eventually lowered to $7.1 million in 2012. As time progressed, the value of the property surged, and presently it is estimated to be valued at $1 million higher. The 9,500-square-foot property features a spacious living area comprising of six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and additional amenities such as a fitness gym, a generous family room, and a library. Beyond the confines of his lavish residence, Lefty can indulge in outdoor activities without constraints. The backyard of the property boasts an outdoor kitchen, a swimming pool, a golf course, and a garage capable of accommodating his luxurious car collection. Lefty owns exotic cars like a Bentley Continental GT, an Aston Martin Vanquish, and a customized EV EasyGo golf cart. And if that wasn't enough, the pro golfer took it up a notch and copped a $40 million Gulfstream V-Jet airplane. The luxury jet was nothing short of a mini home as it had two bathrooms, cooking space, and dining areas. Although it provided the privacy and comfort the golfer's family needed, Phil feels happier now that he has sold it. The greatest decision I made after owning a plane for two decades was selling it and going with VistaJet. He continued, it has reduced my stress levels exponentially. VistaJet, a private aviation company, 
began sponsoring Lefty in 2020, and ever since then, he and his family have toured the world with VistaJet. However, just a few days ago, it came to the limelight that the 53-year-old has spent $70 million discreetly buying the luxurious Rancho Santa Fe neighborhood in San Diego, California for the past two decades. But if you think Mickelson has a thing for living the life of luxury, Wait until you hear about Rory McIlroy's expensive purchases. It all started when Rory figured out that for a golfer in his class, he'd need a better place to stay, and not just any place, somewhere to call home. So he hit up his pal Ernie Els, who had already told the other tour pros that he was putting his house on the market. Rory spent a whopping $10 million for the 12,800 square foot Florida mansion. This came after he put his Northern Ireland mansion on sale for $2.5 million in 2012. Located close to Hollywood in County Down, the five-bedroom home built in 2006 had a driving range, a gymnasium, a golf practice area, a putting green, a tennis court, and a large lake at the top end of the property. But despite these amazing features, Rory had to give up the place due to increased overseas commitment. But Rory wasn't done yet. It's no news that McElroy is a travel freak. When not in places such as Florida, Los Angeles, or Edinburgh, the four-time major winner is sunning up his life on the sun-kissed coasts of Dubai. So it comes as little surprise that he spent over a million dollars on a home located in the highly fashionable region of Palm Jumeirah also known as the mini city built from sand in the middle of the ocean. But aside from exotic cars like the $140,000 BMW i8, $119,000 BMW M6 Grand Coupe, Lamborghini Aventador, Bugatti Veyron, and his two Ferraris, a black Ferrari F430 and a Ferrari F12, which he bought from his buddy Ian Poulter, McElroy made a purchase that shocked the golf world, a $30 million Bombarder Challenger 605. The large cabin business jet made its debut in 2007 and enjoyed sales of around 300 units before being replaced by the Challenger 650 in Bombarder's production lineup in 2015. But while Rory gets to fly around the world in luxury, Annika gets to make massive purchases that get other women attracted to the game. Of all the LPGA Tour stars, Annika Sorenstam stands out as the most famous and accomplished. The ex-pro is undoubtedly one of the most talented women to ever play golf and she has her name in the Hall of Fame. With a net worth of $40 million and multiple endorsement deals with companies such as Rolex, Pacific Lynx, Cutter & Block, and Lexus, Annika is the wealthiest female athlete on the professional golf circuit. But while her male counterparts preferred to splash millions on mansions and the like, the Swedish golfer decided to fuel her passion. The 52-year-old bought a wine farm and sought to produce wine in large quantities. While the cost of the purchase wasn't made public, it's only expected that the women who seemed unfazed in the face of luxury would be willing to spend millions to own one of the most sought-after wine brands in years to come. But none of these purchases can be compared to the multi-million dollar purchase of the only man who's said to have made over a billion dollars playing golf. According to Forbes, in 2009, Tiger Woods was officially recognized as the first professional athlete to surpass a billion dollars. In 2015, Woods ranked ninth on Forbes' list of the world's highest paid athletes, holding the top spot among Asian Americans and the fourth spot among African Americans. And when Woods decided it was time to live the life of a billionaire athlete, he purchased something no golfer had, a $25 million yacht. Named The Privacy, the yacht is really, really big and has some features that'll blow your mind. A gym, a theater, a jacuzzi, a spacious living room, and tastefully furnished rooms. But if you thought a private yacht would suffice Woods, you were wrong. Tiger took things to a whole new level and copped a $54 million Gulfstream G550 private jet. And this flying toy is so crazy. First, it's large enough to contain 24 people and can stay in the air for 12 hours non-stop. It also has unique amenities like a sleeping area, a kitchen, a wireless network, an iridium phone, satellite communication, and fax and printer equipment. The cost of these two purchases outweighs his $54 million Jupiter Island Florida mansion 
and expensive cars running into thousands of dollars. Let us know in the comments below what you make of these famous golfers and their expensive purchases.